Elizabeth Hasselbeck is an Emmy award-winning former co-host of The View and Fox and Friends. She's also a best-selling author, and she's the mother of three. She's just released her very first children's book. It is a beautifully illustrated story called Flashlight Night, an adventure in trusting God. Now, when I launched my television show back on the Fox News Channel several years ago, she was my very first guest on that show. It is such a joy to welcome a wonderful person. You love her, Elizabeth Hasselbeck. Well, that it is was so great nice. having Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's true. Hi, everybody. It is a true You're song. Well, not all, I'm not lovely all the time. Yeah, you are. Governor, people have seen enough film of me to know I'm not. I have unlovely moments. You are one of the <laughs> nicest people I've ever known. You're kind. Right you back really at are. You. You're so kind. And I love this book. I read the whole thing. <laughs> You know, I love children's books. Did I make books. any spelling errors in it? <laughs> no, okay. but I love children's books because I can read the whole thing pretty quickly. That's right. That's why I worked on one. I can write it quickly. But I'm excited about reading it to my grandkids. And my understanding is this is kind of a true story. You actually do have a, like a big board at your house and kids yes. are written on? Yes. Tell us about how that works. Thank you so much. And look, people, this is amazing. Oh, this great is humans here. and yeah. fun and friends. Um, so... I really struggle with worry myself. And I think as a child, I would save my prayers for emergencies. I worried if some were too big or <laughs> some were too small. It was God too busy to handle it all. So I was like, you know, we're gonna handle this. And we had this chalk wall in our house. I was inspired by a little girl by the name of Caroline hmm. who had a prayer wall. And she told me that she had one. I thought, you know what, we can do this in our home. And so I asked the kids, we made our chalk. Yeah. Asked them to write out their prayers, all the big things, all the small things. And Tim did it too. And then we got to this point Governor, where I thought, uh-oh. I asked them to, to ask God for big things. And what if the answer's no? Yeah. And how are we going to practice being prayerful and trusting when sometimes the answer is no? And we've asked them to ask God for good things. Right. And so there came the flashlight. And so the flashlight um, was our way of shining a light on where we saw God's answer as a yes. Like, God, we see you working and so we're going to shine our light on that, and we're going to celebrate that and be thankful, and then we're going to shut our light off and be honest with God and say, oh, I, this doesn't feel good. It feels dark. Yet, I'm not going to stop trusting you, and I'm going to declare in the dark, God, that you're good and that you're working on it even when we can't see. And so that was what our flashlight night was for us. And thankfully, you don't have to paint a wall in your home. <laughs> we put a flashlight wall, a chalk wall, right inside yeah. the book on the cover. So we just wanted kids right to have a space to get yeah. their worries out. Kids, we know that the anxiety rates and worry rates are high, right? Yeah. And so we thought, why don't we share what's worked for us? And it's really what God gave us in our own home as a story and a place for kids to not have to carry around these massive worry rocks all by themselves. See, I think that's what I love about this story. First of all, it's based on the reality of the way that you've raised your children to believe God for big things, but, but to be bold about it mm -hmm. and write it down. It's hard to raise kids today mm -hmm. where they have this presence of God in their lives. It's obviously something you're very intentional about. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's made a difference in your children from having raised them with that sense of God's really there. Listen, I think sometimes as parents, we create these activities and invitations into having a relationship with God. And really it's because we're desperate to have it and maintain it too. Yeah. And so we want to raise our kids to be resilient in their faith because this world, if anything, that we learned in 2020, it's that, listen, we got a big fat no in 2020, <laughs> okay? Everything was yeah, no. Yeah, we did. Everything yeah. was you thought this and now it's not. And so all of the children right now have learned that things don't always come out the way that you hope that they would. But listen, we're not, that doesn't mean we're going to give up on hope and we're going to give up on faith. And certainly we have a God who's not giving up on us. So I think that declaring in the dark, and we've had a dark season. I think so many people have had that in, in different ways. Um, we declare in the dark that he's good, even when we can't see. Yeah. And if we can raise our children to trust that God is working on it, even when the answer is no or not yet, then they're going to become teenagers and adults that are going to be able to walk through triumphantly hard times. That is a great a great lesson for every family. I think one of the great lessons you gave to your family 
you, you walked away from really a wonderful career in television because you wanted to devote that time to your family. Was there ever a moment you said, oh my gosh, what have I done? I've just, I've done something. I've walked away from a career most people are dying to have. Sure. Did you ever have that thought? You know, I think that, you know, whether you're a working mom or a stay-at-home mom, we're all full-time moms. So I think that, tr- and dads have this too. We just don't let you guys talk about it as much. <laughs> like you all have the expectations on you just as much. And so I'm very pro-dad. Um, but I, okay. yes, yay, pro-dad. Um, but I do think that sometimes you have seasons as moms, yeah. you know, and you have seasons as working people where you understand, okay, this is a complexion of our family right now, what's needed. And you try to just do the best thing at the best time. Um, that you can. And I think after being prayerful about it, I loved the time at The View. I would have stayed there if they didn't have other plans. Um, But then it kind of like (laughs) catapulted me. It catapulted me to Fox. And it made me go hunt for a position there and ask for a job there. And that was good. I had this awesome team. I just wasn't resting. You know, I miss that command that God says. Like he instructs rest because it's his idea. Yeah. And I forgot about that. (laughs) <laughs> so I just wasn't, I was sleeping. I mean, you would see me. I mean, we've had so many right. interviews together. Yeah. I was suffering through them because I wouldn't sleep at night. Mm. And so I didn't really do well by, I, I don't think I stewarded my time as well as I could have. Um, and I think knowing that God was giving me the okay to step away wasn't an easy thing to do as a teammate in work. Yeah. But I knew that in that season, there was going to be a reason And we found out the whys later. And the whys are, we got to move to Nashville. And the whys were all the friends that we've been able to have. And the why was that our family lifestyle um, and what our children needed at that time, I had had the blessing of being able to do that. And I I know that not everybody does. So I don't take that lightly. I've just found work to look differently. And so it might look like writing a children's book. But I think what we all can do is celebrate that you have continued to be a strong witness for Christ, a wonderful, wonderful example of a person who loves life and you exude that joy that we all need. This is a book that mm. I hope parents and grandparents, grandparents like me will get it. I can't wait to read it to my grandchildren. And you can get Thank your you. copy of Flashlight Night right now and keep up with Elizabeth and all her wonderful insights. Follow her on social media. 